Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Ariana Rose. I make makeup videos here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe so you become one of my YouTube friends. You already know what's coming because you clicked on this video, so let's get right into it. I feel like it can be super overwhelming when you have a ton of colors and you just sit there and you look at it and you're like, well, where do I start? What colors do I use? So today I am here to help you. So tip number one is when you get your palette, Take a look at it and swatch the colors. Feel the different textures, see how the colors look when they're actually on your skin. And this will help in making decisions for different looks that you do. Because a lot of times you can look at a palette and the colors look completely different when they're in the pan and to when they're on your skin. Tip number two is have a look in mind. Know what your end game is and how you want your finished look to be. And this will help you to make decisions that are simple and very intentional. Tip number three is to choose one color that you want to base your whole look on. If you're extremely overwhelmed and you have no idea even what you want your finished look to be, this can be super helpful in making your life easier. Now today I'm using the Morphe 35T palette. I absolutely love this palette. You've got browns, you've got plums, you've got champagnes. You could do so many different looks with this palette and really that goes for any large Morphe palette that you can get your hands on. I love them because they are cheap but they're really good quality. So today I'm going to choose one color and it's this guy right here that I want to base my look off of. It's a really pretty purpley lilac color. To start out, I'm going to moisturize my lips because no one likes chapped lips. And if you do this right in the beginning, by the time you're ready to put lipstick on, they'll be really nice and plump and will look super good. Now to start off, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Extended Eye Base. And I'm just going to apply this to my whole eyelid. I absolutely love this because it doesn't have any color and it really helps if you have extremely oily eyelids. It keeps everything on everything blends really smoothly and you get a lot more pigment from your shadows. I feel like nowadays there is so much pressure on having tons of blended colors all throughout your eyes and creating cut creases or always having a soft brown color in your crease. I feel like it's important to be okay with doing more simple looks that are just as beautiful and are extremely timeless. I'm gonna go straight in with the color that I chose in the Morphe palette and this short, flat, fluffy brush. And I chose this brush because I can do a ton of things with it. I can pack the pigment onto my lid and I can also turn it on its side and I can blend that out. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Once I get the pigment down, I'm just gonna blend it out and just keep in my crease. I don't wanna go too high up. And then I'm just gonna slightly extend it out on the outer corner. Next, I'm gonna take this color right here. Um, it's a little bit on the like purpley silver side. And I'm just gonna take my finger and pat it right in the center of my eye. If you're having trouble blending the outer edge, just sort of rub the brush so there's not really any product on it. And then just use that to just blend out the product. I'm just gonna take that same color from the beginning and pack that onto the outer edge just to deepen the shade a little bit. I'm going to leave my eyes at that and go in with NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint and a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to pat that into the skin. I've tried several different brushes and techniques with this product and I like the Beauty Blender the most. So using this helps to sort of give it a little bit more of a hydrated feel and helps it not to get too cakey or heavy because when I rub it with a brush, it tends to show more texture and with brushes, it also tends to get pretty streaky. If you ever feel like you got too much on your skin, just turn it to a different side of the beauty blender and just sort of pat it on and that will just sort of absorb some of the product. Now I'm going in with Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener and this is going to help correct the darkness underneath my eye because I have a lot of it and it needs a little help. I'm applying it right through 
this socket area where I have the most darkness and then also right on the corner to help lift that part of my eye and correct some of the darkness right around there. Now I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm going to apply this with my finger first so that way I don't get too much and too much in the beauty blender because I want it to absorb some of the product off of the skin because this product is can be really heavy and super full coverage and I don't want it to look cakey at all. And I try to keep my concealer pretty low because the area right underneath my eye is where I tend to get the most creasing and I don't have a ton of darkness there and I usually will put shadow right there anyway so I don't want too much product built up on top of each other because that is what makes makeup look cakey and crease. Now I'm just going to set my under eye with a little bit of a translucent powder and I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing patting motions because you don't want to disturb the products that you just applied. Now I'm going to use a synthetic brush that I'm really packing the powder into to set the rest of my makeup. And I'm using a synthetic brush because it does not grab onto as much product, so it's not going to apply as much. And that will help your whole look to be a little bit more natural. Going back to eyes, I'm just dipping in in our color of choice, the very first shade, and I'm just applying that right underneath my lashes. I'm just taking a little bit on my finger of the second shade that we put on the lid and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. I'm just going to wipe some of the product off of the brush and I'm just going to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. For liner, I'm going to go in with NARS, I believe it's called Via Appia, something like that, I don't know but it's a really pretty brown plumish color. I'm just gonna go right underneath my lash line and this will really help my lashes look fuller and make my eyes pop more. The trick to doing this is my mirror is right here and I want my eyeball away from wherever I'm placing it. So I'm gonna place it in the inner corner so I wanna be looking away from it. So I'm gonna turn my head this way. And then when I want to do the outer corner, I'm going to turn my head the other way. This just makes it a little bit easier. And I'm actually going to apply that on my lower waterline as well. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Perfect, so my eyes are totally done. If you want to apply false lashes, then go ahead and do that. But sometimes I feel like it's beautiful to not wear any. It showcases the shadow more and I feel like it has a little bit more of a timeless look to it. You could do a little bit of individual lashes if you feel like your lashes need a little bit more oomph to them. Or if you want to create a little bit more of a cat eye, you can place them on the outer corners. Whatever you feel like, whatever makes you happy, go ahead and do it. For my face, I feel like I need a little bit of color, so I am going to use a little bit of a bronzer to add a little bit of color to my skin. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. I'm just applying that to the cheekbones, right underneath it. And I'm not contouring, I'm just adding color to my skin. I absolutely love the highlighter in this palette as well but for me right now it's a little bit dark I could apply a little bit just sort of all over but I want something a little bit lighter so I'm going to use Becca Moonstone and I apply that with the same brush I used to set my under eye and I really just want a tiny little bit just right on the high points of my cheek I'm going to bring that just a little bit on my brow bone and then just bring it down. So I'm going to use this really pretty blush from 
hourglass called mood exposure i'm just going to use the same exact synthetic brush from the balm and i'm just going to get some on my brush pack it into my hand and i'm just going to apply it to the apples and just on the tops of the cheeks and this is going to really lift your cheek if you apply your blush down here it's going to sag it down I filled my brows in off camera and what a difference it makes, but I use the brow definer from Anastasia and taupe and just a little bit of clear brow gel. Now to finish off the look, I am going to use just a lip liner and a gloss and I'm using Fine Apple from the Balm. I really like their lip liners and this color in particular is not insanely pigmented, which I actually really like because I feel like it just sort of looks like my lip with just like a little bit of pop to it. I really like to work the product into my lip because it makes it look more natural. And I'm just gonna use Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss in Crystal. I'm going to just put it on my hand and apply it with my finger. I'm applying it more just in the center because that will make the light bounce off of my lips and make them look a little bit more plump. And I don't want it crazy too glossy all over because then I'll look like I'm drooling. Now if you're going to be wearing this for a full day or all night or you feel like you're a little powdery, then go ahead and set it with a little bisque. But I'm going to skip that and i am all done this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe go ahead and leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite morphe palette is see you guys next time